Hello. I think you need to unmute Hello. it. Oh, it's done it again now. Hang on. Can you hear me Hello. now? Are we okay there? Has that worked? No. Oh, got you. Hello. <laughs> Gail Porter, thank you so much for joining me on Unmuted. We are finally coming out of this. What are you most looking forward to? Thank you very much for having me. I hope you've like coped okay. It's been a, it's been a very weird year, but um, I am most looking forward to. I'm coming home to Scotland on Sunday. Yeah. Scotland obviously is my home and um, I've missed it so much and it's been such a traumatic year for everybody and you know I lost my dad and, and and I couldn't get home and I couldn't see my friends and don't get me wrong I love London and I've got wonderful people down here but you know what nothing beats Scotland and I cannot blink and wait. Obviously seeing my friends is going to be absolutely wonderful. Being in the Royal Mile I've got my jogging stuff all packed already so I'm going to do a wee run round Arthur's seat and just being it, the air, the people, everything. If you see me, I know we can't hug, but I'll be elbow pumping everybody going, woohoo, I'm back home. I love this story about you coming back and everyone saying, all right, wee man. And honey, your daughter was really offended. Yeah, so everyone was going, all right, wee man. And honey, because I've got no hair, she was just thinking that everyone thought I was a wee man. And I was like, no, 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 that's really affectionate in Scotland. Wee man is affectionate. And obviously, you've touched on it, it was a really tough time. And I'm so sorry to hear about your, your dad. And what, what things saw you through? Because a lot of people maybe turned to music or food. What, what kind of helped you get through that time? Do you know what? I'm a massive fan of Frankie Goes to Hollywood and I played A Power of Love a lot over lockdown. And I actually bought myself a karaoke mic, which my daughter wouldn't allow me to use in front of anybody. So I only use it on my own. I can join you in a karaoke party after this. A bit of, bit of Frankie, I'm up for that. I'd love it. The Edinburgh Festival, they're hoping that's coming back in kind of some form. I've booked already to come up because I think they're doing a fringe. So there's going to be outdoor events happening as far as I know. And also I'm reading at a thing with Irvin Welsh in, in Berwick-upon-Tweed, Fringe by the Sea, I think it's called. And I think I've asked all my mates to come. So um, please come along. That'll be great fun. So hopefully, touch wood, it's all going to happen. Please do not let us have another lockdown because I've got nothing else to watch. <laughs> I don't know if you know Grado, the wrestler, he's really big up here. He told us that um, he's gone back on the STV player and been re-watching Take the High Road. Um, that's how desperate things got. Oh my gosh, I love Take the High Road. That was so fun. I miss all that. I used to make, I made tea for uh, um, behind the scenes on Taggart once. Me too. Did you? Yeah, that was my that was my first job in STV. It was like a rite of passage. If you're going to work in TV, you had to do something <laughs> on Taggart. Taggart, take the high road, then you're in. <laughs> well, Gail, listen, you have been brilliant and I can't wait to see you, you know, hopefully in that festival in August. Next week, just go, all right, wee man. 